Um, some of you might have heard me at uh, Dr. B's. Uh, some of you might have been there and heard me do some songs, and you might even have heard this one. This is the the song needs a bit of explanation, you see, because there's some foreign languages in it that you may not understand. Anyway, when um, when I was young, we lived in Africa for about four years. My father was kind of a restless soul, so he moved around a lot, and I just. I didn't have a choice in the matter. I had to go with him. You know, I was only three, I guess, when we moved there. But we lived in a place in, uh, it was northern Rhodesia at the time, called Lusaka. And um, uh, it's now called Zambia. It's no longer called Lusaka. But uh, this is a song about a town in what was then southern Rhodesia. It's now called Zambs, uh, Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, thank you. Uh, uh, and uh, it's called Bulawayo. And the, the, uh, anyway, the, uh, the foreign languages that I, I'm going to explain to you, one is Swahili. How many people know a bit of Swahili? Good, good. So the phrase in Swahili is Hamalapakaya, and that means go on home. Hamalapakaya, that makes sense to you, eh? Hamalapakaya, go on home. And the other language is called Kitchen Kaffir which is a, kind of a pidgin language that you speak in the kitchen to your Kaffirs, which are the black Africans, the yes. servants in this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the phrase in kitchen Kaffir is called futsak. Got that? Futsak? Everybody say futsak? <laughs> and it means go on home too, but there's a little more juice to it. You know, futsak. It's kind of like that other F word yeah. phrase we all use. Uh, what is it? Fuddle duddle? <laughs> Anyway, this is a song about Bulawayo, and after I wrote this song, it's interesting because I looked up Bulawayo on Google, the found of all knowledge and wisdom in the universe, and it said that the name Bulawayo comes from the Nbili language, something like that, which is an African dialect, and it means a place of slaughter. So this is Bulawayo. I 
can hold nobody's hand Walking down those dusty streets All the way to Bulawayo And the people in the market say I'm on a Bacaya Futsa I'm a la Bacaya Futsa Futsa I'm a la Bacaya I'm a la Bacaya Go on home you country man Stay away from Bulawayo 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 And then it came one dusty day We all marched to Bulawayo our hearts and our heads were high, our hands and our voices high. So many people died that day, they died in Bulawayo. And the police all said, I'm a Lepakaya Futsak Futsak. I'm a Lepakaya Futsak Futsak. I'm a Lepakaya, I'm a Lepakaya. Go on home, you country folk, you die in Bulawayo. Bulawayo, 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 Bulawayo. Go on down, down, down past Chi. Samba, down past Rabawi, down, down along the Kafui Gorge of the Zambia River, down where the water is deep and the banks are narrow, down in Matabili land. Called Matabili land for those great red ants, those Matabilis that march in armies through that territory as if they owned it. And perhaps they do. Those great red ants, those armies of Matabilis will march through your house and strip it of anything edible in a matter of minutes. It is said they have carried off babies and small children, but I cannot vouch for that. Down in Matabili land, the earth is red. Some say it is red from the blood of the patriots. Some say, down in Matabili land, you hear strange sounds. You hear the sounds of the mothers crying to the fatherland. You hear the sounds of the fathers crying for the motherland. You hear the sounds of babies and young children crying out in hunger and thirst, crying out in sickness and in health. And you hear the voices of the great leaders and politicians of our country. Bulawayo, Bulawayo, 